snakes. One, five, motherfucker. Big knot in my pocket like a matter politic. Pull up all black like a crooked politician. I'm drunk for I get my fucking wrist loose. Then I lose by the night. Drop my Lamborghini smelling like a fucking DUI. Ghost ride with some stop sign eyes called Metro to escort me to the countryside. Yeah, side door when I walk in. Slang in my voice when these women hear me talking. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just jam it out a little bit. It's can of dips. It's out. So. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we're out here. It's beautiful outside today. Uh, probably gonna go maybe do a little pond hop. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing today. Uh, you know, I got some work done, so get to treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you always, it's always good to treat yourself. But yeah, uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed to this channel, smash that subscribe button. Like I said, we got some crazy shit coming on this channel. I promise you that. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I do have some things lined up. Uh, it's just all about timing, um, just because everyone's all over the place. But we are gonna be doing some sick ass stuff. And uh, guys, stay tuned, um, cause we have some sick gear coming too. Uh, if you guys aren't, if you guys are from Instagram or TikTok or whatever, uh, Pineside Performance, obviously, you know, that's the company, that's the brand. We got some really, really sick stuff. We got shorts coming out, female shorts, girls crop top, some new sick tees, some performance tees. Uh, you guys are definitely gonna want these. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm going to say probably in July. That's when they're going to come out, early July. Not 100% sure, but that's the goal. Um, they're being manufactured right now, so I have my, it's out of my hands. But if it was in my hands, it would be done by now. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That shit takes a while. But anyways, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a comment. Like it. Do what you got to do. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, I'm going to continue to jam out to my music and then figure out what the hell I'm going to do. So... In the meantime, you guys enjoy this dang video because it's going to be the best. All right, peace. Big ass fit. Oh shit, this thing's this thing's massive. Oh, it's a big ass. Oh. Holy shit. Yo. This is no joke. This is no joke right here. Excuse me, can you do me a favor? Could you take a picture of this bass for me? I just caught a bucket. I don't know if you have a scale or anything. I don't have a scale on me, but yeah. He's, I don't know how, do you have a scale at all? What? Do you have a scale by any chance? No. That's all right, I just wanna take a picture of him. If well, you don't maybe mind. let me pick it up. Okay, get up if he's uh, got him. What's that? Get up if he's got him. Oh, the picture? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, no problem. I appreciate it. I'm going to release him right here, actually. I'm getting a nice release on this guy. Yeah, they're big bass. Holy shit. This is definitely the biggest bass I ever caught by far. If not, it's no big deal. So I was just... Oh, you have a scale? Oh, no, 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 this is rule. Oh, tape measure? Tape measure, no. Yeah, see how long she... he is? How long she is? 23. 23 inches. Yeah. 
23 inches, y'all. That's freaking massive. We're gonna let it go right here. Holy crap. That's gonna be six, seven pounder. Maybe yeah. eight. Yeah, I think it might be eight. Yeah. That's a freaking nuke. Yeah. That was a nuke. Yeah. Hit like a freaking ton of bricks. <laughs> Shoo! All right, let's just take a moment because that was definitely my biggest bass and I had no fucking scale, which I'm kind of pissed about, but there's an awesome gentleman, as you guys seen in the video. He had a tape measure, 23 inches. This thing was 23 inches, freaking massive. Uh, fat ass belly, obviously, I think it was a pre uh, spawn. T -t Today, Junior! Bass, I think it was full of eggs. The mouth on her was ginormous. This thing was the biggest up north bass I've ever seen in my life. Even when I had in the water, this thing was a nuke. When it hit, it hit like a ton of, it's crazy, man. I think it could have been pushing on those 10 pounds. I ain't gonna lie. That thing was fucking huge. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna keep on smacking them. Shoo! Well, I guess it's bringing us this part of the video because it's freaking raining outside. Like nasty, just shitty ass weather. Pretty bad. So I figured, why not come over here in the taco shop? And let's just talk about that. Nice little catch that we had. So I'm gonna break it down. We kind of got a guess on the weight because uh, <clears throat> good old Georgia Bassmaster told me that there was uh, this like app that you can like convert the, the length, which we got was like 23. And then um, we took the girth and then you like put it in this converter and it, like spits out a number. So I basically what I did was I took my hands, I saw where my hands would be on it, I kind of like measured my hands for the girth. So this is just estimate, could be bigger, could be a little smaller. But we got like 18 inches girth and then like 23 wide. And if you guys go on the converter, I'll put the link down for the converter. But um, it came out to like 8.4, so 8 pounds, 4 ounces. Uh, is that 100% accurate? Absolutely not. It could be less or it could be more. Um, whatever it was, that was definitely the biggest bass I ever caught in my lifetime so far. Um, I'm sure there'll be more, hopefully. I mean, I grew up fishing that same lake. Like, I grew up, that's the lake I grew up fishing, learned how to fish, learned everything about fishing that lake. And ironically, all the places I've been fishing, and I catch it right two minutes from my house, which is the most obscene, sickest story, fishing story I think I've ever heard. But yeah, it's pretty dope. I was obviously still my voice. I'm still super excited. Um, I know, like I said in the video, a couple of videos before, if you watched that, and I'll pop this clip up that this year we were gonna break PBs. So this year we're on. We're gonna be chasing PBs this year. Um, not just fish, just everything. Everything we do is just gonna be trying to be skies. And this year, so far, we broke the our personal best at least in fishing. I said we're gonna do. We're gonna set other standards too. Do other stuff, and we're gonna do that too. Um, like I said, I'm. Man on a mission, and uh, I just I really want to do some cool stuff, and um, I just I, I just want to be the best at everything I do. So that's why I'm doing it, and I'm I'm gonna get on a double digit this year too. So mark my word, whatever I gotta do to get it, we'll go there. We'll get we'll get one done. I think I can do it. Um, like I said, I got the mindset to do it. So let's get it. So follow. Them. Like I said, if you guys like this video, smash the subscribe button so you can see more of this fun stuff, or like comment whatever the hell you want to do. Um, but yeah, new drop, like I said, coming out sometime late June, early July. Be ready. You guys seen it in the video. I popped them up. Um, if you guys aren't already on TikTok, we're on TikTok. Instagram, you know, we'll put it right down in the link below. Um, it's like at Pineside Performance. And we also just opened up uh, at Pineside Products, which is all exclusive Pineside stuff. We'll have all just like the gear, nothing else really, just like showing off what's new and what we're working on in there. And then like the other main hub. We'll still have all that stuff on there, but it's gonna have more like content, like video content on there. So if you guys wanna give that uh, fo uh, Instagram a follow, definitely go, it'll be awesome. Like I said, you guys won't regret uh, subscribing to it or following it or whatever the hell we do on Facebook or Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, same thing. We're gonna be in the metaverse soon, so whatever, dude. It's cool. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna peace out. Um, it's raining. Probably do some organization here in the tackle shop, get some things situated, and. Um, you don't have to do it again so thanks for watching guys and then as always let's uh see you guys on the next episode of pineside adventures Peace.